Our good friend Craig has brought out a series of videos called Knowing Of and Word Magic, where he tries to break down certain words. So what could I do? Got to debunk it. G'day and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to keep this short and sweet as best I can. Um, I'm having trouble doing some research for excellent content for everybody out there. I feel as though the content isn't good enough for me, which means it isn't good enough for you, um, judging by the views this week so far. So I was walking the dogs uh, around the park earlier, thinking about uh, just taking a couple of weeks off to fine tune my research. Uh, I am gonna reach out to some of the creators uh, and, and get some tips because I, I, I seem to be failing. But as I was walking around the park, I got uh, a, a comment on an old video. It is from Lil Espasi, I think it's pronounced. Uh, I'll put it on the screen. So as you can see here, it's from Lil Espasi, and it says, Store WTF is smart. You are dumb. Shut up. His eyes are open, yours are shut. Wake up. Bit of a typo there. So that message actually inspired me to make another video. Might be the last one for a while, I don't know. I need to talk to some other creators. But thank you, uh, Lil Espasi. You've given me the inspiration for at least one more video. So I've put together uh, a few of his videos where he tries to explain words, and of course I've debunked them. Let's have a look. The font of Times New Roman is symbolizing that of this new Rome that has been in existence for 20,020 20, years. Wrong. 2020 years wrong uh rome or the the city that rome was and became rome uh was actually named so in 753 bc so that actually makes it nearly 2900 years old um well it used to be now it's gone now it's breaking down the old power that used to be is gone and breaking down with the age of Aquarius. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yet, the reason why I want to make this video is because the, that font, the Times New Roman, is a symbol of them saying it's times, the times of the New Roman. The Times New Roman is actually a font that is used uh, in newspapers and now on computers. It was discovered in 1931 by Stanley Morrison of the British newspaper, funnily enough, called The Times. Hi everybody, here's some more word magic breakdown. Okay, so you know how they call it dog tags? for the name tags of the soldiers. It's not called dog tags because it's some fun thing. No, it's called dog tags because that's what they want those people to be are persons. They don't want them to be people. They want them to be persons that obey and don't think. Just go out and kill. I'm still not getting where he's going with this persons and people thing. Uh, it gets me very confused. Um, person is a word used for a singular human being. People 
is a word used for a group of humans. So that's why they call it dog tags. Okay, I still feel as though you didn't break the dog tag down. Dog tags have been around since the time of the Spartans of Greece, around 650 BC. They used to write their name on a stick, which they would tie to their left wrist for identification. The current term for dog tags is used because, and you are not going to believe this, is because it looks like a tag on a dog. That's it. There is no scientific breakdown for it. It literally looks like a dog tag. The reason why they call it a, a soldier is because you sold I, which is yourself, and er is men of it, men together. And then er, in a legal sense, brings the precedence of the prosecutor or the prosecuting I'm not sure how to word it no shit yet it has er in legal is determining the the power that gives it or the power that's getting it that right there is a bunch of hocus pocus soldier derives from the 11th century Middle English language, Sudair, which means mercenary. Okay, so I just felt like making a video that about the Bible, the etymology of the Bible, the breakdown, the word magic, such spells, breakdown of Bible. Okay, so by, B-I, always means two. B-L-E always means able. What? So that means two different stories were brought into one and are able to be. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> so, just think about that the next time you get told about the Bible. The word Bible comes from Biblia, which again is a Middle English word derives from Old French, which in turn derives from Latin and literally means paper or scroll, which then commonly became known as book. That it has two different stories in it and they're put into one. Depending on your religion, there are either 66 books or 73 books that make up the Bible. The Bible itself is not a book. It is a collection of books. So it means it makes a new story. So really the Bible has nothing to do with anything. I think you may have just upset Somewhere between 3.5 and 4.5 billion people there, Craig. I am seriously concerned about Craig's ability or lack of ability to do any actual research. This one is a very good example. Hi, everybody. Okay, so if generic and name brand or the same thing then why does the name brand work better than the generic sometimes my point is if the generic doesn't work as good as the name brand then it's not the same thing it is something different that's not how it works that's not how any of this works unless it's that whole the name is the game kind of thing. Life is the name of the game, and I want to play the game with you. And I 
I don't know. It's just something to think about. How about new? Really, I mean, this doesn't really add up. If it's the same thing, then why wouldn't it work the same way? <laughs> this isn't complicated, but it is a little bit long. So when a product is developed, let's go for example, um, Advil. Advil is basically um, 200 uh, micrograms of ibuprofen. Now, when Advil produced um, Advil, um, it was branded. They took out a, a patent. The patent lasted for so long. Once the patent finished, then anybody could make the same tablet using 200 micrograms of ibuprofen. So for example, um, Tesco's own brand, Walmart's own brand, Cole's own brand is 200 micrograms of ibuprofen. It's just that it's not called Advil. The generic brand is a copy of the brand name. It has the same dosage, the same intended use, the same effects, the same side effects, the same risks, the same safety factors, and the same strength. So for example, um, a tin of peas. Why would I buy Jolly Green Giant peas when Coles peas are exactly the same? But they're not exactly the same. They are effectively the same. It may have something to do with what they call fillers. That could be coloring or gelatin or flavoring. So they are effectively the same, but they're not exactly the same. So in terms of medication, a drug will do the same thing. It's just a different name and that's pretty much it. Um, the reason the brand names are more expensive is because Advil, for example, did all its researching, did its marketing, uh, designed its packaging, whereas Cole's ibuprofen just comes in a little white box with a bit of orange on it. That is the difference between generic and brands. They do do the same thing. Okay, that'll do it for this one. I actually quite enjoyed putting that together and doing a lot of debunking. Um, although I did have to listen to his craziness for quite some time. Um, if you did like the video, I would appreciate uh, a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, there is a subscribe button in the corner there. You can use that. Um, comments. Um, I would love to hear your comments on uh, this type of video, uh, my previous videos, what you would like to see, because I am, I am getting a bit confused. Um, I've already fired off an email to other creators asking for some hints and tips. So I'm not sure if I'll be back tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. If I don't see you tomorrow, I will see you soon. And if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. G'day.